Coach, what is, is life like for you now in this new world of NIL and transfer portal and, and you know, trying to keep kids, yeah. get kids? It's a different, different world, right? Yeah, it's busy. Um, but it's good. Uh, I think, you know, NIL is going to give our guys some opportunities that uh, are going to be really good for them. Um, but it's different. Certainly, uh, it's, you know, recruiting is a little bit different right now. And, and the transfer portal is the biggest thing. Just, um, you know, roster management is kind of the, the buzzword that we all talk about. But it's, you know, it's figuring that out. Um, you know, we still signed a bunch of freshmen this year just because I, I still want to build a program. I want to have culture that I think is long lasting. Uh, the Hunter Tysons of the world that, that stick with you for, you know, uh, for this time five years, I think are going to be, it's really meaningful more, not only what he does on the court, but but how he is an example of, of what your program's about and the, the standard that he sets for the younger guys that are coming in. So I think having a good core like that is really important. Um, so that part's really good, but, but you know, you're going to have more roster turnover now than uh, in the past a little bit, and it's going to affect your recruiting, whether you, you know, how many decisions do you make to sign freshmen? Uh, I think it also maybe, you know, at least us with the 23s right now, we're, you know, we're not as probably far along as we have been with some other high school kids uh, at this time, just partly because, you know, you're still kind of finishing this up and, and it's taking a little longer. And then at the same time, just projecting what's it going to look like. And the COVID extra year, there's a lot of other factors involved that, that have made roster management a little more difficult right now. You just talk about the additions that you had on the staff with the two new, two new yeah. coaches and you kind of identified. Yeah, them. well, Billy Donlin um, is an outstanding get for me, uh, you know, associate head coach, but guy who's been a head coach at two schools, been with me forever. I coached him in college. I've known him since he's 18, um, and he's just a great basketball coach. Uh, he's going to do an unbelievable job with our perimeter players. Uh, he and I just worked really well together. He was an assistant at Wright State before me, assistant at UNC Wilmington. We had a lot of success together. I think we just fit very well together and brings a great deal of experience at the level, uh, having been in Northwestern and, and uh, Michigan. So just, you know, I think he's, I just think he's a home run hire for us in terms of a guy that fits me, has experience, and has sat in his chair. And so I think that helps. When you have a guy or two in your on your staff that's been a head coach, understands a little bit more what the head coach is dealing with. Uh, this Sean Dixon is great, um, terrific young coach. Um, he was a very good player, Presbyterian. Um, I really respect Sean. He's a lot like like me, and that he was a guy who's just kind of worked his way up through the business, um, having been you know in a bunch of different places and. You know, helping them build a program at UNC Asheville. Really did an excellent job there at Middle Tennessee for Nick McDevitt, uh, where those guys have taken over and, and had a really good year. Outstanding recruiter, uh, a lot of ties in the Southeast. Uh, good basketball coach, was a very good player. Uh, and then just a just a really good personality who I think will fit really well with our players. So, uh, you know, super excited about those two guys. Graham didn't come out with a vote of confidence for you. He actually wrote a letter and said, this is what's important to me and through his support. How important was that for you to not just get lip service, but yeah, something like that? Well, you know, Graham and I have worked together for a long time. He's been the, uh, the guy that I've dealt with, um, you know, sports supervisor for nine years or whatnot. So uh, we have a very good relationship. I think he has a good understanding of basketball. I think he knows that, you know, not all the needs have always been met, and we've had some challenges and hurdles that we haven't always been able to get over. Um, and so I think, you know, part of what he's saying in the letter is that he understands that as the administrator in charge now and that he wants basketball to be as good as it can be. And, you know, he's willing to spend more money on things if we need to spend more money. He's willing to hire more staff if we need to hire more staff. You know, he. He's, good. he's seen what things have been done for football and how that's affected winning. And sure. there comes a point when you got to do the same for other sports if you want to have the same kind of success. And I think he, you know, stated that that's part of what he wants to do. And uh, obviously, I'm excited by that. I mean, you know, we all want to have more opportunities. We want to have what we need to be successful. And, uh, you know, Graham is, is certainly providing that. What will we see come out of that? What are some changes? Well, I, I, I think – you know, first of all, ability to hire folks that you need to. There have been some times when we haven't been able to hire a guy or two. You 
because we haven't always had the, the salary that you need to get a quality person. Billy Donlin's an example of you had to pay a little more to get a to get a guy of his stature, to get a guy who's been a head coach. Um, you know, and so you know, there have been other instances we've lost strength coaches, we've lost a few people in who are good um, when you know money's been involved. And so uh, I, I just think those kinds of things are important and, and staff changes can be hard especially when you lose somebody that's good because you're not always sure the next hire is going to be as good it's a risk and uh you know you gotta you gotta spend money for quality people to retain i think retention of quality staff is incredibly important and so i think that's that's as important as anything all good Thanks, coach. all right